Hello to all of my Aquarius. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your Freedom Friday message. Yes, you may be watching this video on Thursday. So happy family or happy friends giving to those of you all who celebrate the holidays. Happy holidays to each and every one of you all. So you may be watching this in the latter part of the day, wherever you're in the world. You're probably watching this on Thursday, but let's get into your reading. The moon will be moving into Taurus in preparation for this full moon in Gemini, right? So let's keep you on, let's keep you on schedule, right? So I'm going to give you the questions for the moon in Taurus. Try to keep it short and sweet. This video, this video is for the 25th of, um, November through the 25th of December. All right. So whenever the moon is moving into Taurus, you already by now you already have the questions for the moon in Aries. So like I said, the moon stays in zodiac signs one and a half to two days. I'm going to give you the questions for the moon in Taurus. Let's go. Let's see what your cards have to say. Aquarius, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Happy Freedom Friday. Here we have the Empress card. Here we have everything is fine. Here we also have the King of Wands. Here we have the King um, King of Wands, and Knight, the King of Pentacles, the Justice card, and also the Tower card, right? So yeah, here we have the Empress card. Here we also have the Justice card. Here we have the Tower card. Here we have the King of Pentacles, mm -hmm, which is the wealthiest card in the deck. We also have Everything is Fine. Mm -hmm. And we also have the King of Wands, right? So King of Wands, King of Pentacles. So you're definitely on your throne. You have a lot of ideas. A lot of information is coming to you as you get closer and closer to this full moon, right? So a lot of information is coming to you. So as the information is coming in and it's reminding you, it's telling you about who's going through a tower moment right now. Who has caused you some kind of disruption? Somebody, somebody is green with envy. People who are, called, who are green with envy. People who have tried to disrupt your peace. People whose life is not a life that they're, they love and that they're pleased with. So this is getting stronger and stronger and stronger, right? But so as we move towards this moon in Taurus, Taurus is a steadfast uh, zodiac sign. It needs the hoof strongly grounded into the earth, right? Um, it's, a, it's a sign that is ruled by Venus. The, this in Taurus, Libra and Venus are ruled by Taurus. And so source is saying to you, you know, when other people's lives are out of sorts, whether it's in your workplace or your personal life, that's what source is like during the holidays, a lot of stuff happens, Aquarius. So you're going to have to be the person that says, I need to protect my energy by focusing on my purpose. That's where I'm putting my energy in my purpose. I'm not getting caught up in none of that mess stuff that I could hear about this and hearing about that. I'm not getting caught up in none of that. And so, um, when the moon moves into Taurus, um, it reminds us that our bodies are our temples and a temple of a lot of power, beauty, pain, strength. It's an intuition. It's a, it's it, you know, an intuition, right? So you want to really listen to those messages that are being downloaded into your spirit. You can hear a, a message loud and clear, something having to do with your money. There's been a lot of inner growth and outer growth around you, Aquarius. And there's some energies who are like this right now. And you could be literally picking up on the fact that they're really depressed around this, even though they've caused you a lot of depression in your life. And sources say, stay in your ground. Get those hooves rooted in, I mean, like in that, in that, uh, in that soil and said, nope. Uh uh, I remember when those energies tried to cause me all kinds of pain and and disrupting my peace. Nope, I gotta, I gotta, mm -mm. I need to move on. I need to move on. So you will be hearing a lot of messages loud and clear. And because you're a very cerebral sign, and because Gemini, like Libra, Gemini and Libra, this is Libras, but you know the full moon will be in Gemini. Our air signs, it's going to come through the air. So it can come at any point. You can be standing at the kitchen sink and washing dishes and the information will come through your mind. You can be standing outside taking a walk at the gym. Doesn't really matter. You may think that, okay, I'm hearing things, right? That clear, that clear audience. Or I'm seeing things that clear, you know, um, that all the, all the clairs, clear sentience, clear audience, clear cognizance, clear, um, yeah clairvoyance, all of that could be, I just know certain things, right? So source is saying, stay locked in and laser focused. You have a lot of ideas, but you're not wasting on, on any energies that have tried to disrupt your, um, disrupt your peace. 
right? So here we have the Eight of Cups. Somebody has a lot of gifts and talents. That's you, Aquarius. Lots of gift and, gifts and talents. And a lot of people have shown their jealousy and envy, all those things. But guess what? You learn how to save yourself. So people are going to have to learn how to save themselves. They're going to have to creatively learn how to save themselves. I'm, I'm, and then, and again, you're still, you're still compassionate, but they're going to have to learn how to save themselves. I'm going to tell you something what I'm seeing here. Part of the reason why people are going down, 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 down Aquarius is because you try to save them. You try to tell them, get away from certain people. It's like, let me tell you what I'm seeing. Okay. Nine of pentacles. You're moving towards financial independence. One of the things that I'm seeing is that somebody told their mother to cut off certain family members and they wouldn't listen. That's what I'm seeing. I'm not sure who whose mother I'm talking about, but somebody told their mother, you need to cut off some of your family members because they're showing you their jealousy and envy, and I'm not hanging around to see all of this. And so people are still trying to drag you back down to something by making you feel sorry and feel bad, and you're like, mm-mm, nope, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not going through that when you could just go ahead and cut some people off. Or it could be a loved one that you're saying, it could be telling somebody to cut their grandmother off. Or cut cut another side of their family off, a grandfather or the father or the mother. Somebody you could be telling somebody, hey, listen, I'm not coming to save you. Whoever it is you're trying to tell, I'm not coming to. I don't. I don't have the power to save you. And and so that's that's what makes some people feel some kind of way, Aquarius, because you're not disrupting your peace anymore for people that you've tried. You try to tell them, like I said, you are a light years ahead. You've been trying to tell people, get away from people. You can save yourself and people don't want to listen. So you're definitely not going into and you're not sacrificing yourself for the holiday season. That's why I say this right here. You used to be sad and depressed, but source is saying, if you're resting, you're not depressed. You're sitting there like, okay, everything is fine. I'm just relaxing. Some of y'all may be on your cell phone, cracking up, laughing at something else happening on social media. Even if you by yourself, anything is better than being around energies that you're dead, disrupting your peace. That's the, that's what I'm saying for you all. So here we have the four of wands. You feel like a huge weight has been lifted. Like that's not my responsibility. Four of wands, seven of wands, the universe coexists. Four of Pentacles and the Wisdom card. Part of the reason why, part of the reason why, you know, this is crazy, Aquarius, because part of the reason why people are going through such an internal battle is they want to coexist with you and you're not interested. That's why I said you would rather lie down and watch movies during the holidays and be at peace with yourself. Again, you're a popular loner. You don't have a problem being in your own company, Aquarius, than deal with people who don't know the other planetary alignments in their birth chart. And they act like they doing you a favor by considering you like, please don't consider me. <laughs> please don't. Let's not do that. No, I'm good. So that's the frequency you're on. You feel like a huge weight has been lifted. And so source is saying for somebody, not only do you feel like a huge weight has been lifted, you're actually making room for two more blessings coming across your path. So here we have the um, seven of wands. I do see you being able to defend your decision to move on from people without coming across as defensive. Matter of fact, I do see somebody increasing their, um, their meditation life. Like you sent out messages to the universe, but you're also in receiving mode. You can, you can have telepathic conversations with people, you know, in your meditative state by just letting them know, I, I tried to warn you about certain energies, but you didn't want to listen and I can't, I don't have the power to save you. Right. And so that could enrage some people who are very, very bullheaded and stubborn. They just don't want to cut people out of their life. They just like to, they like the thrill of the, the one minute people warming up to them and then turn around and, and blow torching them. And so you keep trying to tell people, leave people alone. You came through with the wisdom, Aquarius. Like I said before, you're good because like I said, you are, you are in a space where you're just relaxing. You are just relaxing. And so you, you can tell people, hey, listen, you can, you can keep telling people the same thing over and over and over again. They don't want to listen. And the universe is in your favor. So here we have the four of pentacles. I don't see you being, I see you, I don't see you spending a whole lot of time. You're going to have, you're telling people how to save themselves. Like, Hey, let's, this is part of your human experience here on earth. You know, you're a divine being of light who's having a human experience and you don't have to, you don't have to stay connected to energies that is the, your, their way of the highway. You know, you don't have to stay connected to bullying energies. You can get away from that energy. Stop calling me complaining about stuff. Do something about it, right? You said to them, do something about it because you're not, you're not disrupting your rest. 
you work too hard to get to this place of peace. So here are the questions for the moon in Taurus. First question is, how often do you feel true pleasure? Second question is, do you feel guilty about pursuing pleasure? Third question is, where are the energy blockages and places of tension located in your body? The fourth question is, can you discern how your body says yes to some things and no to others? And then last but not least, Aquarius is, what does your body need? That's what I'm saying. You already know that there are people who are going through a tower moment right now because they won't do what you asked, what you suggested that they do a long time ago. And you said, I'm not trying to control you. I'm just telling you, I don't want to be, deal I don't want to have to deal with certain energies. So that's the frequency that you're on. So here we have the Six of Cups, here we have the Seven of Swords, the Nine of Swords, the Four of Swords, the Two of Cups, and the Empress card. Yep, there's the Empress card coming out twice. You, you're like, look, don't call me with that. You, are you getting your rest? You get mummy-like rest, as a matter of fact. That's why I say everything is fine with you, because every time you think about your, your thoughts dealing with certain people in the past, you're like, mm-mm. If I got to think those worst thoughts of you, I don't even want to have anything to do with connecting. I already know the nightmare. Here we have four and we have the nine of uh, swords. So you've already said, if I got to go back to a nightmare, I need to stop talking about it. I'm not even engaging in conversation about it. So that's what I'm saying for you all. Somebody may be telling you some things, you know, this, this, um, this cycle. You know, giving you information about some things. So it's just said, you're just going to have to move on in childlike faith. You're going to have to operate in childlike faith and say, hey, look, I need to focus on me. Here we have the two of cups. And so I do see, um, you know, you got soulmate energy, you know, in your life. Somebody may already have a soulmate in their lives that's helping them through this whatever ordeal you could be helping somebody else through. But like I said, I, I just don't see you just where you are right now, Aquarius. I don't see you being swayed by just because it's the holidays at all. I really don't. I, I, I see you in a different headspace because, again, tower moment, tower moment, tower moment. I see you in a totally different headspace, you know, period. I see you getting your mummy like sleep. Here we have the seven of wands again, the emperor card, the ace of coins, the six of wands, the five of wands, and also the nine of wands. Somebody is awfully persistent because they feel like, like I said before, they have a God complex. They are awfully persistent and somehow trying to get your attention to waste your time, Aquarius, and you're not you're not even buying it. Like I said, here's the seven of here, there's two energies, seven of wands. You're saying I'm not even interested. You've already been through a long and arduous journey with the energy, and for you, it's over. I'm not being called back under any circumstances again. See, with some of the hard lesson that somebody's going to learn when they call you frustrated with something, Aquarius, is that you're not racing to the aid anymore. It's like just like I, I've, t I've been telling you, and somehow you're not listening. You know, and you know, and they're going to get frustrated like, oh, you're not coming to save me. You're not doing X, Y and Z from certain energies. No, I'm not. But you can save yourself. Ace of coins. So, like I said, as hard as you have worked to get to where you are, because you are the real bait, Aquarius. The bait is because there's so much money involved here for you. If Aquarius does something, I can turn around and sue Aquarius. You're like, no, not when I'm getting when I telling people to leave people alone. Here you are back in a saddle and I see you being victorious. I see you being victorious at it. Just, I'm not dealing with that. I got too much to lose. I've already told you, leave them alone. Leave those energies alone. Here we have the five of wands. And so some people, they keep falling for the old bait and switch, but you're not falling for the bait and switch. So that's what I mean. That's what I mean. Looking at your cards here, Aquarius, you're not falling for the bait and switch anymore. The burnout. Some people have to get to a point of burnout before it makes it start making sense to them. You know, because it already made sense to you, Aquarius. So we're going to go ahead and get ready to shut this down again. Happy Freedom Friday. Happy Freedom Friday. You've already made a decision. I'm not trying to coexist with certain people, so please don't invite me. Here's the Emperor card. Here's the Knight of Swords, the Three of Swords. Here we also have the Two of Wands, the Four of Wands, and also the Page of Wands. Like I said, you're going to feel like a huge weight has been lifted off of your shoulders. Came out twice. Because Source is saying, I'm trying to send you some major blessings that's going to keep you motivated to move on forward and not go back to that madness, whatever it is. And this is you right here. I'm getting as far away from those types of energies as possible. See, some people have to learn the hard way like you did when their heart is completely broken and stressed out. And you're like, mm, I'm not even overthinking this. I feel like a, a teenager again. That's what somebody's going to feel like in the emperor card, like I said before. 
You can be mad. You can be upset. You can say what you want to say about me. But what you won't say is that I got, I went back to something that tried to burn me out. I went back to something that tried to burn me, stress me out, cause me to have low self-esteem. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. Let's close it out. All right, Aquarius. Um, here's this card right here. Release all negative thoughts of the past and all worries for the future. That's it. Like I said before, once people know that they've been here, and a lot of people watch tarot to watch other people sign. Once people know that money is coming across your path or life seems like it's a lot easier for you, they want back in. But see, they only stay still on that low frequency. They just want you to coexist. They haven't pulled the birth chart. They don't even believe in pulling birth charts. And but you know yourself, you're like, no, now that I know myself a whole lot better, I've studied my birth chart. I know what works for me and what doesn't. I'm not interested in any soul contracts. That's right. Somebody's like, I'm not trying to sign my soul over. No, thank you. I've, I've sold out for source inside of me. I know what my purpose is. That's what this is. I'm not selling my soul out for somebody else. So no soul contracts with human beings. You're like, I sold my source, my soul to source. I have a purpose on this planet and that is what I'm focused on. I'm not focusing on all that other stuff just because some people feel like they, they gotta, they gotta stay connected to certain people because they're afraid, you know, of whatever, you know, people trying to, you know, um, harm people for whatever. Here we have five, five, I'm evolving substantial changes in your future Aquarius. Embrace the change, a need to overcome your insecurities and let go of your fears. There it is. 55. Yep. Here's your affirmation card and let's go ahead and close it out. So yeah, some people are selling, I mean, signing soul contracts and you tell them, Hey, look, you're not getting me wrapped up in some nightmare when I told you ahead of time, whoever it is. So affirmations for acceptance. I accept myself as I am. I accept what is without resistance. I have the power to create change. I practice patience with myself. I am loved. I am not alone. I am at peace. That's what I was telling you all before in the previous reading, Aquarius, is that some people give off this energy that they're so religious and holier than thou putting up this front and they want to be connected to you now that money is coming in and things are happening for you. You are not interested because people sold their soul to the dark side. You're saying I stepped into the light. I only want to be connected to that stuff. So if they, if they, they watching, you know, they're hearing all these great things are happening for you because they're still in the darkness. So people who only, they feel like, okay, well, I just want to be connected to money. I want to be inspired. I, I didn't know that they were this deeply spiritual. They don't even know that they had access to you before and still tried to burn you. So you're not interested in people who are signing contracts with their dark side of themselves. You are divinely protected. You have nothing to worry about. And so again, if people are on the fence, you're not. You have stepped into the light. So that is what I have for you. And like I said, 41, 4 and 1 is 5. 5 is the number for pivotal point. You're continuing to spring forward and not fall back into any of that mess. So no matter who is still in, lost in the, in the jungle, you're like, I'm not going back to save anybody because I'm not anybody's savior. You see how much weight that lifts off your shoulders, Aquarius, when you realize you're not another person's God. You don't have a God complex. You can't save people. And you've tried to inspire and motivate people to keep on going and believe in the light within themselves. And they are just committed to seeing the seeing and being bullied or, or, you know, influenced by other people. You're not interested. That's what I have for you, Aquarius. I will see you all on Sunday. Bye.